four new AI art generators. Yep, new text to image AIs that you can use right now. In this video, I'm going to show you each one of them with the three example outputs. In addition, there is a little surprise in the middle. By the way, if you know one of them, you can skip its part. Are you ready? Let's start with the number four. So for the number four, we have Wiki Art Diffusion Mini. And as you can see, it's very simple. It's on hugging face. All you need to do is just to put your text right here and there is an additional feature you can uh, also use right here which is to use image prompt for to guide the AI to generate an image similar to the image you want but you need to uh, enter the text anyway okay so you can see here below some examples and just if you want uh, you know fast examples just click on one of these and the text will be uh, copied to here okay so for me and moving to the first example we have beautiful buildings next to a green farm the blue sky is cloudy okay then i'm going to click on submit and there you go this is the result it's not that bad but it's very normal nothing special about it let's try the second one for the second one we have a painting of a robot that's it it's very simple and there you go it's not that bad and uh, for me I don't see the robot but it's a cool painting I would say. So moving to the third example we have old picture of a library and we can click on submit let's see the output. It will take a few seconds to uh, you know generate the image. There you go this is the result and it's it's really old it has a feeling of an old image but for the library part, I don't see any uh, books or something like that in this uh, image. So let's move to the next one. For the third one, we have RU Dal E, which is the Russian version of Dal E, but it's not made by OpenAI. And here uh, are some uh, information about this model. And as you can see, it's it's trained with one one point three billion parameters. This means that it's a really good model. Let's see how it goes. So for the first example, we have a cute, beautiful dog and you need to write the capacha. Okay, then click on send. And uh, actually this one is different than the others. You need to wait for two minutes because you can write in any language because this model takes your input and translate it to Russian. Uh, as you'll see, I'll click on update just every one minute click on update and you you will see your text is being translated to russian okay the image is being generated so just click on update to update the page and there you go this is the result as you can see it's just a beautiful dog next example we have an old picture of a library and uh, we are going to put the capacha send and then I need to wait for one or two minutes. And there you go, this is an old picture of a library. You can see the Russian text of it. If you translate this, you would see that this means what we wrote in English, okay? So it's good, it, uh, it's not that bad, and it's better than the previous model. Next, we have Fantasy World that has a black sky and shiny dark blue buildings. And then click on send. And there you go, this is the result. As you can see, it has some of the text that we write in English, but the other description like the blue buildings, I think, it's not in the picture. Now the surprise is right here in front of you. If you just go to emoji and uh, just uh, write something, an animal or whatever, for me, I wrote a cute dog, you will get an emoji for that uh, text which is really cool. I didn't see that uh, before. So this is a text to emoji AI model and it's different than RU Del E. Okay, make sure to click on this, this menu right here to access this model and just type something you want to uh, convert it to an, an emoji. And for the second one, we have latent diffusion model. As you can see, it's on the Hugging Face website and it has some options to control the image, the output, okay? So for us, for the first example, we, we are going to try a painting of a robot and that's it. Here you can uh, just increase the steps to uh, increase the quality, but you need to wait a little bit. And then here you can select how many images 
And here you can select the diversity scale to uh, make the images, the generations different from each others. And then you can click on submit. And there you go, these are the outputs. If you want them individually, you can just scroll down and get them from here. Next, we have a fantasy world. And just that, I'm going to click on submit. And this model may take more than uh, you know, 10 seconds to 15 seconds. It depends on the server. And as you can see, it generates the image right away. That's super fast. And there you go. These are the outputs. Uh, I didn't say that I need to write that uh, inside the image, but that's the output. Next, I'm going to try an old picture. And there you go. This is the result. It's actually good and not bad, but the next one is way much better than this. And for the number one and the last one we have is Dream AI by Wombo Art. And this is actually the best one. You can see here, you can enter your prompt right here. For us, for the first example, we are going to try a vibrant painting. That's it. Also, you have an additional feature, which is art style. You can choose from all of these styles to make your output sim similar to uh, one of these styles, okay? So for us, we are going to, uh, we are going with uh, no style. Even there is a vibrant art style, but we are going with no style and click on create. And there you go, this is the result. Actually, it's very cool and it's very vibrant, right? As it's, it's just as described, right? You can also here uh, buy the print if you want or save it, publish it, whatever you want to do with it, okay? For the next examples, I've already made some images with this tool. So I'm going to just show you those images in full resolution and see what kind of text that works the best with this tool. Of course, none of these can beat or replace a giant model like DAL E2, but there is one that actually beats it and it's from another giant company, Giants Fight. It's here in this next video. See you there. Thank you for watching.